right. Tiffany D.Y. Bitches. Top of the morning to you all. Okay. Unstable creature here. And it's time to come off the line with it. And what I mean, come off the line, I'm always coming off the line with it. So, again, I'm going to go ahead since I haven't done so. I don't know why it takes me so long to do videos. My house has been so clogged up. But I'm going to go ahead and hit you with this on week three with us in the Titans. And then towards the end, I guess I'll um just chime in on the um Broncos. What I don't do is chime in on the, not anymore, chime in on the games before because, you know, other skills and, and probably the things that I'll be talking about because I'll be mainly wanting them to, you know what I mean, just get up and do what they do. So with that being said, I just want to, I say, uh, shout out. Who am I shouting out? Like, we losing. Everybody working on their individual stats right now. <laughs> Everybody's working on their individual stats while the team is, like, falling flat on their face. This is the problem that we have before where everybody is not um, connecting on all cylinders. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give my little intake on week three, which, 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 which was the Titans. And even though we are going through some things to where maybe he is struggling or who he want to get that ball to into those hands, but we did see the Titans did not play no games, did not want to wait on Derek Carr, didn't even want to, don't want, wasn't going to wait on the uh, referees, I mean the officials as well. It was like how I spoke about last game. They did not go and wait for anybody to do so. If that if the game was going to proceed or look in any way in their favor, they were going to have to they were going to push it and make sure it didn't look like that. Now during the first half, I originally didn't watch the game because I thought it'd come on at another time and I had something to do that morning. And my night Saturday didn't go so well either. So you know, I caught up with the game, and then when I watched the game, I did pretty much, um, you know, see it was like a little, not so much, but a slow pace in the first. And then when it almost reminded you of the last game, then when it picked up a little bit on the second, this is what I really wanted people to pay attention to. If in every situation, and shout out to um, Matt Collins. Matt Collins has been everywhere. I'm not going to say, now, I don't even want to say that we even have, how about the whole team be a Cinderella? How about this? Because, um, Mac, you have been, man, you have been getting it. I ain't even, we can't even take nothing from you. Ain't nobody even trying to be like, ooh, like, maybe the gold slipper is yours. Maybe you want the gold slipper to be yours. I don't know. <laughs> maybe Carr and Dante Adams, seen my last video. See the message that I was trying to portray to him. But the thing was, I was not trying to knock anybody's skills or anything. What I was saying is, we already know what they're going to go for. Now, back to Mac. Mac is everywhere. Mac is cool. I appreciate it. That shit looks, you know, great when them shits is hitting. But we do see the shortage. Those balls are not meeting Devontae Adams the way those balls are meeting um, Mac. No problem. I understand, respect it, but at the same time, if we're going to be fair, we're going to be equal. The reason why I say rotate the ball, the reason why I say we have those skills to move across, not so that you can drain one out, put one on, or do anything like that. It's almost like what I was saying about the defense. I like the defense. Now the defense feel... I feel like the defense is starting to hit on all cylinders and do something um, a little bit more. Keep themselves together, not allowing themselves to fall apart. They have, they look like they have way more better structure going on now. And now the offense, like I said, it's always been a given. But take away from no skills. Believe me, when they have to dip, dive, and do all that they do down the field to get where they have to go to put those points up, that's where it's coming from. Take nothing from, you know, the O-line. Whatever it is. You know what I mean? But it's a simple fact. If y'all watch that game, and y'all pay attention to the way I talk, y'all see if he can shoot these bullets to Darren, if he can shoot these bullets to Matt, he can shoot these bullets to Adam. Why are you acting like you're fearing or you don't want this to happen or you don't want it to complete? I would hate for us to really... be. I, I would hate for us to really be opening our eyes and seeing this on the field at this time and don't ever, like I, said, like I said in the message that I sent before, you know, your college days is your college days. You have so many years in this, that, and the third. I don't, I'm, it was just so much shit in between. And like I said, 
we had Amari Cooper. If we couldn't we couldn't shape that team right there and do what we had to do with that team, not saying that we can't do it with another or whatever the case may be, it, but you, we got to look at how we do our men's in them. That's your man's in them. That's my man's in them. We got to pay attention to how we do that. Until we, like, really start paying attention to all of that, yeah, it's okay for... That's, you know what I learned about people? You can see a person giving you the evil eye, and then when you catch them give you the evil eye, doesn't it always go another way? Like, oh, no, 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 no. So sometimes you just got to be like, okay, even if that is the case, I'm still going to sit back and watch. If you smile at me, I'm going to smile at you, but I'm going to catch all them evil eyes and all that dumb shit you be doing. That's what we got to stood up. Because everybody puts on the front when it comes to the cameras. Everybody puts on the front when it comes to, ooh, we all in here. But y'all really have to feel that in your heart. And I'm telling you. Because you can see him throwing this ball to everybody when it needs it. And I said this about a game before when we had another wide receiver. And he took his time about getting that ball to that wide receiver and fucked over the whole thing. When I say... This is what I mean about camera angles, too. We lost a game where it was a two-point conversion. We couldn't even make the two-point conversion to win that game. And I'm not talking about um, this Tennessee, but we couldn't make the two-point conversion because he tried to throw it to, I think it could have been Darren Waller at that time, but everybody else was open. So you see, it's like, come on now. You want the win. I understand everybody in individual stacks. You want to build everybody up the same way uh, Gruden did you without even have to do extra questions? You still out here fucking up now. Okay, this is the difference. Now we can now people have to see what you are working with. It is no excuse if you pay attention to how he's shooting and getting these balls into Mac hand, and you pay attention to how he's getting these balls into Dante Adelham. Nigga, I ain't lying. You watch this field. I be, <laughs> you ain't even got to borrow my eyes. All you gotta do is open yours. That's it. Ain't nobody trying to send no bad nothing. This is my team. I rock hard as fuck for Raiders, but it's just a point. Like, we should never have this on the inside. And if it's on the inside, you should be always able to talk about it. Just like I read a little clip where... Hold on now. Pause. What's up? Oh, okay. I read a little clip, a news clipping of um, uh, calling a meeting uh, because of uh, how, you know, the games are going or the issues in the game. What's the issues in the game? Huh? Huh? It's what, the, the issues with the, in the game is car. Here is another challenge. I challenge anybody to go back on that game and see how fast those balls, how well those balls was hitting Mac, and how this, how short, or how loose those balls was hitting Adam. Like, I don't like the confusion. I just, when I said, like, our Cinderella, let's find our Cinderella, it was just to give the opportunity for to still rotate that ball. And we all have people that hit that. Come on now, Riffo, why are Assassin looking like he can't shoot? It don't make no sense. It's not, it's not giving these times. Why are we doing this? Like, okay, Darren Waller, he's still trying to make it happen on every cylinder. You know what I mean? Trying to make sure all his gears are still clicking and shit like that. So where are we going? And then, Mac, you know, truly appreciate, you know, all of these. You got a couple new people, too. What they do? They just uh, did an Evans and switched out a junior. To I an, and so a, I, you know what? I be just looking like, you know what? Ain't no excuse. We always have a bomb ass team, or we have a team that'll go so that'll take us so far. It's just the bullshit, the politics, and the dumb shit that person want to play. I don't even care. That's just like we make a deal. Like, okay, I give you first half, and because I'm so do 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 all my skills, I'm gonna come out do do run it over, do all of this other shit. It's like the it's like the. I'm not there. I'm here. I'm just, I, I'm not even going to think about that shit no more. You know what? Uh, for that game and how I feel about that game was, you know what? We can see where it's coming up short. I don't know if you trying to um, starve this person out because y'all both was hitting on all cylinders. Y'all both talk about, you know, your time and where y'all supposed to be right now. So, given that time and where y'all supposed to be right now, y'all should be hitting and doing a little better. And then... 
the bullets that you shoot in and making sure it get to everybody else, you should be doing the same thing for Devontae Adams. See, the thing is, we shouldn't be seeing no difference in how you do your players. We should see how equal you are with your players. When they're open, you pass it to them. You know, when, when everything is available, the opportunity is right, that's what you do. But you do not shorten it. And, yeah, we see him open, but we don't see those bullets getting to him because when those bullets are softened, like it's not coming out as hard, it's an interception. It's this, it's that. So every time I'm watching a play and Matt Collin is making it, he, that, that ball is going, boom, really fast. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, he catching it. When I watch Devontae Adams, it's like, like, it's short. Like, somebody else could probably get their hand in there, get it, got it, good. Like, you, I don't know. You know what I mean? That's what I say. Even though I talk my shit, it is very important for everybody to look. You know what I mean? You might not like how I convey my shit. You might not like how I get down. You might not even like my titties, but... <laughs> I ain't lying, and it's all facts, and facts always going to be over feelings over here because it's not about, it's not about the feeling. Look, I'm watching my fucking Raiders go through 0-3 oh, right now. Shit, I should be crying, but I'm looking at, like, I'm watching what's on the field, and, yeah, I could be stuck in something else, but I mean, like, I, mm -mm. I you can't do nothing until everybody want to do the same everybody have that saying this is what this is my prime example because i'm gonna say this now this is like what i said about um not praying with the enemy but praying for the enemy you know what i mean because not everybody trusts and believe what you are saying yeah they might listen to it but how would you like for you to be praying honestly honestly about helping that person or helping that team or just being equal with the team and somebody else is, you know, in mind, but in the prayer saying like, no, I'm, we're going to crush this. We're going to take this over. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We'll do, 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 do. Sometimes you just don't mix and mingle. I, not so much as the energy, but sometimes you just don't mix and mingle shit. I, if I, I pray. But there's a lot of people that you close your eyes on and put your head down to that just stab your ass the hell up. So I, I mean, you can go. Might as well pray up. Work not from. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's like it's weird because it's like it it is what it is, and everybody have to watch this shit go down. I I can't even like explain it anymore without getting. I don't want to say angered or anything like that, but yeah, I mean check it out, check it out. And for that, since that's already um up down and gone with even me watching the game. And going back on highlights, it's like, damn, it's like, uh-uh. Even when I open my mouth to say certain things, I be hoping, like, they're not, they're watching for the message, the clear message, but not watch to catch a cold attitude and act out. It's like, those are kids, you know what I mean? The people, it's like, you know something, as you get older, shit don't, like, shit just, it resonates different. You know what I mean? As you get older, you start dealing and processing things. Like a person not liking you, a person having an attitude, a person being around you and shit like that. You as a person, you kind of process things different. It seemed like he may have gotten whipped of the message, but got an attitude behind it. Like you can't deal with your own, you know, self. It's one of those type of situations. Everybody else have to exercise the right of not being jealous, right? Especially on a team. You have to share. You have to be able to rotate. Why this whole team cannot well exercise the right to not be jealous? But then when it comes to you, the same person, that probably have put this rule out. And this is what I mean about people not recognizing where they are as a person because they probably ain't never been tested in that way. So being tested in that way, it's like watching his attitude. It's like, ugh, that's some childish shit. You better grow from that. Grow from that nasty-ass attitude so you can move further as a team. Because it's looking, I, I don't want to say selfish. And it's looking a little like like almost a setup type. You know, I'm giving you the ball, but you ain't, you know, you ain't making it. Or it's not hitting on all cylinders. Because if you really think about it, all of our people, if... If we have a trade right now and anybody going to go, nine times out of ten, we're going to probably hold on the car. 
and then everybody else is going to be let loose and, or whatever the case is going to be rotated around cars. So that's why I be looking like the setup. Everything be fucking real. Don't close your eyes to this fucking game. I love the shit out of the Raiders, but I wish the fuck I would be looking at all their antics like that shit is okay. But a person don't know me, I lose friends because guess what? Whether you're right or wrong, I might stand behind your ass, but guess what? I'm going to let you know if you're wrong. But I'll I stand 10 toes behind your ass. We finna go get our ass beat together. Then that's what's, what's going on. But you're going to hear my mouth probably before or after. Not at the not the fact that we're out here fighting. The fact that some situations you have to grow from. You just have to do shit different. Period. I done been jumped out here so many times. I feel like I can get out here and be like, you know, on both sides and talk this shit. Now, what's the problem? Let's get down to the bottom. Because guess what? If y'all started, I'm going to be here for it. But if y'all want to just roll this shit out like a carpet, red or blue, we can roll this shit out like a carpet and everybody stand up proud. We ain't got to go through none of this shit. That's why I be looking like, you know what? I'm over with it. I don't fucking take... I do what's right, not what's wrong. And I don't take sides to what's wrong. And I respect. <laughs> That's why I'm built different. That's why you probably don't see me fucking with a whole lot of people. Not that, the, not that I done fell off, but they done fucking fell off because some people cannot respect other people's decision of not want to go through the bullshit, not want to be lied to, not want to be put in a twist. So as I want all of that to come back to me, I practice what I preach, period. It's a lot of things that I've done that shit, like like my mama. If I've done something, even if my mama don't understand or don't like it, you're going to hear your mom, period. She's going to be there for you, you know what I mean? She's going to do all of these different shit. So it's like that type of shit. Mama always on some other shit. See? Can't nobody convey shit like me. And I don't go full retarded. This what I can bro. <laughs> Enough of that, okay. Enough of that. I'm, I'm just tying too many, too many emotions to a situation that y'all gonna look at it like it's not that. But like I said, you pay attention to us uh, out here on the field, you gonna see more of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. I'm gonna let them go because that was days ago. What is this um, us versus the fucking Titans? That's what's up. Now we finna get uh, over here ready for um, Russell Wilson. Lord knows he ain't finna be, um, he's already on one of those lists to where he can have it. He can get it if he win that ball. So now we're gonna have to, now we're finna come out and really fight. And then on top of that, they're the fucking Broncos. They're the fucking Broncos. I don't, not that I don't like the Broncos, because let me tell you something, when they had Peyton Manning and another quarterback, I can't think of, but they had Peyton Manning, I don't think I wanted to do, say anything wrong, because when he came from, um, Minneapolis, I didn't, I mean, the coach, I think, I, I don't know, I like Peyton, <laughs> no. it's certain people that I, when I respect their skills, when I go into a game that I know that they're on, it's almost like, you know what, we gotta do what we gotta do, I understand our relationship, I understand, woo -woo 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 -woo, but we gotta, we gotta get out here. So, but I'm not a big fan of uh, Russell. Just uh, just of the difference between, I mean, difference of uh, ways of this uh, Bronco team. So now I guess I could really put in the max of disliking Broncos because now they don't have like a person that I know of. I thought I went and I looked at the um, they players to see who they have, but I probably didn't go through all. I probably I stopped at uh. Russell, because I was trying to think like, damn, didn't I just hear or wasn't I thinking about whoever just went there? So that's what it was. Saying that I got that out the way. I have no doubt that we will be able to keep up in that game. I have a no doubt. I have no problem. There, the conversation that Max Crosby, the defensive end, all of those have with uh, Carr, and I, I think that they're going to come to an agreement to where everybody can understand. If we're not going to do it for each other, we're going to do it for the <coughs> for what we signed up for. We're going to do it for <coughs> something bigger than ourselves. And I think that's what needs to be had because I feel like people, yeah, hey, y'all got feelings over facts on this field right here. And I'm going to tell you that for sure. Because like I said, if you go back and look at these videos, y'all got to, somebody got to be watching my video because as I say certain things, and I, I used to say this when I was making videos a long time ago, 
I felt like the ops was watching my team because it's like I would come out and say something very explosive that could be very good for the team, but it's like the team that we play against, they eat that, they doing that, they watching that, and they eating that shit up. So it made me like fall back a little bit. Probably uh, that's when I probably didn't make so many before the game, and now it's all after the game because it's like. I mean, let me keep my little words to myself, and I don't like. I don't want anybody to be thinking that's some bad juju. You know, this is all facts, and we have to pay attention to what we put in, put in our our attention. Or I would say love all the time. Look at this twenty two minutes. I'm gonna end this with a video because I don't want to expect this shit to go that long. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. Fuck me. Fuck with me if you do. <laughs> if you don't, fuck you. I mean. What more do you want me to do? What more do you want me to say? For the rest, have a blessed day, okay? Is this my cute side? Have a blessed one. No. <laughs>